Man, business done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the What's the biggest payday you think you've seen for one song? Probably Big Sean Bounce Back. That was like the first song, too, that was like, okay, this shit is out of here. Um, Jeremiah ended up changing my life, man. I didn't know Jeremiah. I did yeah, love and hip hop. Right. Yeah, I did love and hip hop, and that shit was a whirlwind. And they had me dating this girl, and I would never, I'm not gonna talk bad yeah. about her. They had, they had me dating this one girl, Hazel, whatever. Shout out to her and her family or whatever. Like, Mona put that shit together. Like, it wasn't like a real thing. Like, they scripted it and did whatever. And that relationship ended up introducing me to Jeremiah because you wouldn't even believe all this time we both being from Chicago I never met Jeremiah wow. while I was young Berg and it took for me like in 2014 to be doing Love and Hip Hop link with Jeremiah Jeremiah took me on tour with him YG and Big Sean this when Jeremiah had Don't Tell Him and all that shit ringing off shit was crazy and um, I meet Big Sean on a tour mm -hmm. shortly after I end up getting him a bunch of well I I come back from tour. I, I'm on Love and Hip Hop, and I go rent this like 15,000 square foot house. Like I didn't have the money to pay for it or whatever. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was using the house as motivation for me to keep working and keep mm. hustling. Like man, I gotta pay this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had this big ass crib, no furniture in it, like that. You know what I'm saying? Just wilding out, getting drunk, throwing girls in the pool. Like every night was a turn up, and um. Jeremiah, we're in a studio. We're in a like I made a makeshift studio inside my house mm -hmm. in like the movie theater, and literally like my engineer sitting where you sitting with like a little MacBook and Jeremiah. We're doing songs. And he's just going in my closet and recording stuff. And we had did like six songs that night. I had a girl with me and all that. He had some girls with him, and I'm like, man, I'm finna go, I'm finna <laughs> go take it down, with my brother. Like I think I'm done. We didn't did six songs. Yeah. He like I got one more in me. I got one more in me. I'm like, shit, all right. And he went in there and he just mumbled in Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. So I'm like, oh shit, we got mm. it. And then we finished that. I presented that to Big Sean. A lot of people don't know that um Jeremiah co wrote and myself co wrote the hook to Big Sean Bounce Back. And um fucking uh Sean redid it. Metro Boom and touched it. Shout out to Smash David. And um Sean Yeah, he was just like, yo, I'm just wanna throw this out. And I'm like, I, he like, man, I don't know what the temperature is, man. I, I just want to throw it out. It just feels good right now. I'm like, I right, bet. Throw it out. He threw that motherfucker out, and that shit went to number one. It was probably, I think it's his highest charting solo single on the Hot 100. I think it went number two on the Hot 100. Um, Super Bowl commercials, all type Jeez. of licensing agreements and all type of stuff or whatever. I remember my dad was like, man, you got royalty. This shit was like $600,000 for Bounce Back. And I was just one.